My personal productivity toolkit. Today, I wanted to dive into every productivity app I use in 2023 and why I use them. And naturally, I have been lucky enough to run Keep Productive for some time now, and I've seen probably thousands of productivity tools and reviewed definitely hundreds of them. Now, a lot of people ask me what productivity tools you use, and I thought I'd summarize which ones I use currently. So welcome, my name is Francesco. I am very excited to dive into my personal productivity tools, but if you want to dig into everyone else's, we've got a brand new segment over on Tool Finder called Setups. You can read what Ali Abdel's uh, productivity tools are, what Julia from Study Times productivity tools are, Simon from Better Creating, and much, much more. So do check out in the link in the description, and we're doing more of these setups. So if you want to submit yours, you can find the link in the description too. So my personal productivity tools, it's weird answering this question because um, I always think that um, it is really weird that some people ask me because I know I see a lot of tools, but it's sort of like asking the ice cream man, what's his favorite flavor? I don't think it has as much value. I guess he, he does taste a lot of them. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, but I just don't know why it has some sort of um, essence for a lot of people. They want to ask me what I use, but I'm going to dive into what I use um, and I'm going to start with Calendar. So my calendar application of choice is actually Cron Calendar. I've been using Cron for about a year and a bit now. Um, I never really settled on a calendar application after uh, Woven, uh, which was acquired by Slack but I have found a good base on Cron Calendar, which is acquired by Notion back in last year. And essentially it's it's quite a slim down, sleek version, in my opinion, of Apple Calendar. Has a few additional features. I have also been looking at Vimcal, but at the same time, um, I always come back to Cron Calendar because it seems like sort of the right base. And, and in particular, I like Cron because what it does quite well is, allows you to schedule the meetings, but also uh, just has a nice UI that I can use on my mobile and on my desktop. Um, obviously, Vimcam does have a nice one, but it's not something that's completely, uh, I'm completely sold on in terms of using it for my solo use. But it's weird, with, with calendar applications, I find that in particular calendar apps are the easiest to move because they're not like a to-do list app or a notes app where they contain a lot of information that you have to transfer across. A calendar application is normally built on something that you already have like a Microsoft Outlook or a Google Calendar or an iCal, which means you can transfer between calendar applications fairly rapidly if they have those third party plugins. So obviously that's something that makes a calendar switching a lot easier, but at the same time, I have been with Cron Calendar for some time and I really like it. Next up is my to-do list application. I was, of the last video that I did, quite into Sunsama. I used Sunsama for about two and a half years. And to be honest, it was a really good uh, application. I had no problems with it, but um, formally before using Sunsama, I was actually on Todoist for about eight or nine years. While well, I'm back with Todoist, and I always think that my base is quite good with Todoist. I think during that period that I moved to Sunsama, Todoist fixed a lot of things for me, including custom view and board view, and also uh, some changes with their subtask layout and things like that. And this quite drastically changed the way that I view the application. Um, Sunsama was good while I used it, and to be honest, two and a half years, it was a good period of time to use it. And um, since I've joined back on Todoist, I'm actually using some of the collaborative functions, which has been really, really nice. So um, uh, I, I guess as well, I wasn't utilizing the functions in Sunsama like consolidation and some of the weekly objective functions as much. So I found that Todoist actually was great for capture. Uh, Sunsama's mobile application, not in my opinion, as good as for capture, which I do quite aggressively because I'm always coming up with ideas um, and, and having those plugins on Apple CarPlay and Google Home, sometimes really nice to be able to capture something really, really fast. So um, I am back with Todoist and I find it really good layout. I sort of plan most of my week there and try and keep it quite slim down in terms of its structure. So it's not overloading in tasks. I store a lot of my tasks in both inbox and in sort of like a backlogged task list, which helps me to keep um, a, a, an eye on all of the tasks I have and drag them in when I actually need them. So uh, email application, I actually use an email application. I've been using it for like two and a half years, which is superhuman. It's a little bit more expensive, 
Um, but I found more recently as somebody who is self-employed and runs uh, a company, uh, being able to manage things like sponsorships, um, collaborations, um, you know, uh, producing the the new tool finder site and things like that, and then the sort of um, the pieces that work well with that. Um, email is actually turned into a, a thing that I do quite a lot more of. Um, I've also let go of a few things over the last couple of years, like being able to edit stuff um, and doing a lot of the writing is being delegated to our fantastic team. So at the same time, I'm actually um, spending a, a lot more time on email. So Superhuman actually was a good bet to go with because it's actually been really, really fast to use. And initially, when I signed up to it, I thought, I'm not going to use this command uh, K thing, this speedy keyboard shortcut. Actually, I found that I rapidly learned it and I probably couldn't live without it now. <laughs> um, so Superhuman's my go-to email application and I really like how I can manage everything from there with email. So when it comes to projects, um, we actually use, uh, mainly I use Todoist as managing my own projects, but in terms of team projects like content calendar, uh, guides on how to do certain things, um, connecting things like um, affiliates, experts, uh, courses, and things like that. We plan and coordinate that all in Notion, and um, the team actually use that at the same time. So it's really our base for everything. And it has been for probably about six years now, uh, even before anyone joined the company, I was making sure that it was all sort of at least relevant in there at the time. And it's definitely evolved over the last year, as we become more asynchronous because we don't have any meetings across a month. Um, Steve and I, who's editing this, uh, we meet every two, three weeks if, and Charlotte, who is our writer, head of content, we meet every month. So we really are super asynchronous. Um, so it's something that allows us to do that at the same time and plan the content st statically. So in order to communicate, um, we don't use Slack. We use uh, an asynchronous focus tool called Twist. And this is created by the folks at Doist who create Todoist. And this is a really nice application because it allows us to um, fine tune our communications around threads so that we can um, be a bit more focused on what each thread is about instead of like constant keeping updated in channels and things like that. I know Slack has the feature called threads, but even then, in my opinion, I think it's a little bit messy to find what threads there are and what they're about. So I think Twist is has been really good to base it off of. And we've been using that ever since we've had a team communication ch channel at least. Mm. Um, finally, I use a note-taking application, but I don't really note-take. It's a really weird one. I've never really note-take it. Note-take it? I've never really done note-taking. Um, I've been mainly somebody that probably journals more than I note take, but also just capture stuff like documents, things that are hard and static in that extent. So um, I actually use MEM. Disclaimer, I am actually an investor. I invested in their Series A fund. And actually, I invest in it because I actually thought it has quite a bit amount of potential, but I think at the moment it's quite unsure at what exactly it is. But in particular, the reasons why I use MEM is because of uh, the sort of the nature of linking up notes. It's a lot easier, in my opinion, and a lot more approachable than apps like Obsidian, LogSeq, Reflect Notes, and things like that. Whilst they are fantastic for those people that w their brains work like that, my brain does not work like that. So when I first found it, I found that the building of the relationships between notes was actually a lot easier in MEM. Um, the other functions I like in it are templates, but also more recently the Memex chat function. Uh, being able to use it as my journal every single week, I can sort of uh, resurface notes and help me write a journal that is not a journal, but sort of like business development meetings every week to sort of really progress what I'm trying to do. But I, I use it more as my journaling application than my note taking application. So it's a really interesting resource when you bolt AI onto that. Other than that, um, I don't use millions of other productivity tools. The only other hardware that I use is a Remarkable 2 because I have that on me all day. And I wouldn't really say that's a productivity tool per se. I would say that's more like a, a, a piece of paper, like a functional thing that I can bring around with me. And essentially I can just export stuff into the right places. But they're the main core productivity tools I use. And to be honest, they help me get stuff done during the day. So just a summary of that, Todoist for task management, Superhuman for email management, um, Calendar, Cron Calendar, 
communication, twist, projects and static planning, Notion, and uh, finally note taking or journaling in MEM. So they're my applications. Um, you can see that obviously I'm somebody that's into this space. Um, so feel free to share your setups in the link in the description or in the comments below. And of course, um, we can uh, help uh, bring them to life with Toolfinder. If you're in the hunt for any productivity tool, head over to Toolfinder because we're making some really awesome stuff there. If you want to hear more about that, follow us both on Twitter. Uh, it's myself, Francesco, D underscore A-L-E-S, and uh, Carl, who is our head developer at Toolfinder. He is actually going to start sharing how he's building it and a little bit more about what we're adding to the site on a routine basis. So join us both on there and of course on social media in the link in the description. But thank you very much and I look forward to seeing what tools you use. Thank you everyone, I'll see you all soon. Cheerio.